Uh, hello, this is John Doyle from the ExcelCalcs.com website. This short tutorial is going to talk about uh, how we work with tables in Excel. And it's a commonly asked question uh, from users of the website. Uh, they, they often work with tables of data and want to know how to work efficiently with tables of data uh, in their Excel calculations. So I'm just going to uh, move over now to uh, a calculation that's set out using the XLC uh, template so we have a purpose of the calculation which is the to calculate the escape velocity and orbital velocity there's a calculation reference which is always very important uh, the hyperphysics site is uh, very highly recommended uh, and there's a, a note here about validation it tells us how we know this calculation is right and that's also very important for all our calculations moving down the screen there's a there's a short picture here to show uh, show how uh, what's actually going on it's how fast do we have to be traveling to escape the uh, gravitational pull of a planet and here's the actual calculation itself um, so the calculation is very straightforward uh, the uh, formulas are displayed uh, here using the XLC add-in for Excel uh, but here's our table of data and in this case the table of data relates to a number of planets and each planet has a radius and it has a mass so I'm just going to show you how this works now. Uh, so I'm going to select planet 3, which uh, not surprisingly is 1, 2, 3, it's planet Earth. And then I'm going to show you how these formulas work here. This is the index formula. And the first parameter of the uh, index function is the array. So that's the blue area here. That's the array we're going to be looking up. And the next uh, parameter is the row number so one two three the row number in this case is reading E26 which is number three which relates to the earth row and then the final parameter in this case is two is the column number so if it's reading the second column then it's the mass parameter um, when we press return uh, okay it seems to have done a pretty good job there of reading the third value down and the second column in the array very very similarly um, we have the same kind of functionality the same function being used to read the first column and in the fact this time it's taking uh, the third column here uh, from uh, cell E26 and it's taking the first column of numbers so that's the radius so when we press enter yes we can see that it has correctly selected the uh, planet Earth now if you want to get a little bit more um, uh, we want to present this problem a little bit better uh, there's a range of tools we can use and I'm going to show you uh, a toolbar now and let me just flip up the forms toolbar okay so forms uh, is kind of like a, a way of using programmers tools uh, within Excel and the programmers tool we're going to use is a combo box so that's this one here the combo box so I'm going to uh, click on that and then I'm going to drag out my combo box and I'm actually going to put it over the cell or maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll leave it to the side there so we can see what's going on uh, what we can do then is do a right click so that's a right click there and we get to format control and if I just pull this down so you can see it a little bit better uh, the input range here will be there so it's going to be uh, taking uh, a value from that uh, input array uh, and the cell link it's going to deposit the uh, lookup value in this cell here E26 uh, and number of drop down lines uh, make well I'll show you how exactly what that means I just press OK so okay we haven't seen anything now we've noticed this number's gone to zero and that's because we haven't actually selected anything so I'm going to now uh, this is the one two three four five six seven okay there's actually only seven planets so uh, I've asked for a, a list that was eight uh, eight items long uh, in fact there's only seven here so it's only showing seven but if I select earth now let's see what's going to happen you see that just change to three because earth is the third one in the list so this becomes a nice little selector and if you do a right click uh, on these items then you, you can move them around and you can scale them but I tend to just hide the three 
uh, and, then, and then we've got a very simple control that is just select planet. So if we change that now to Mars, OK, uh, what's happening now is I'll do a right click again so I can move this. It's changed to 4 because Mars is the fourth one in the list. And these index functions carry on working in exactly the same way. So now we have a calculation that's nice and easy to use, uh, very user friendly. And uh, I hope you can see the benefit of working with tabular data in this way. So that concludes this uh, short tutorial. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, and I'll hope to see you on the excelcalcs.com website.